So here we go guys. This is an update on growing our nitrogen fixing corn varieties here. This happens to be the yellow variety out of Chipas, Mexico. And I know, I know, I started them in the seed cells and I said I was going to put them in pots. Well, apparently I lied. We are here, uh, whatever the date is, I will have it in the heading there for you. It's September and they've done very well. The roots on them are actually looking really nice. Look at those. They're about two feet tall right now. Looking pretty happy. And I did say I was going to put them in pots, but I changed my mind. I am instead going to plant them in this sweet potato bed here. So we'll see how they do. So far, so good. That pretty one that was nice and yellow and variegated looking, unfortunately did not make it. As I suspected, it just wasn't producing any chlorophyll and it just petered out after it ran out of the nutrients from its seed. But the rest are doing pretty good. I think out of the 30 seeds we received, I think we have 26 that have made it. Not bad. And I'm going to risk putting them in the ground here. Kind of went through and weeded everything. Sweet potatoes won't mind. They'll pick back up and we'll see how it goes. So let me get these in the ground and uh, talk to you guys in a second. And there we go, guys. Woo! You know, the humidity out here is insane. But uh, by the way, it is September 11th today. And this update on the nitrogen fixing corn. And I did, I decided to put them in the ground at the very last minute. And we'll see how it does. They're not very happy that I pulled them out of the seed cells. And maybe they weren't very happy before that because maybe I was neglecting them a little bit. <laughs> you know, if you grow stuff, you know how it is. It's like, pew, it's like, where did the time go? It's just these days fly by. But here we are, September 11th. And uh, all the nitrogen fixing corn is planted in this sweet potato bed here. And this bed does not get fertilized. The only thing this bed has ever gotten is leaf mulch. It's never had any chickens or anything ran through it, so there's not a lot of nitrogen. And uh, we'll see how this corn does. And uh, we have 25 of them and one little spindly one, tiny, tiny one, that survived out of the original 30 seed. And I will update you guys probably in a week or so. Hopefully they'll perk up and see how they do. They're already wanting to grow very tall. And that's not because they were in the shade or anything. They were in full sun, even in the seed cells. And they're already really wanting to grow tall. So I'm hoping they're not going to be monsters. But we'll see. I know some of these nitrogen-fixing corns can get 20, 30 feet tall. And uh, hopefully not, because that does not bode well for growing it here in my area where I would love nothing more than to have a nice hearty grain corn to grow. We'll see. So far, by the way, no bugs have touched them. We'll see how that goes. We are getting into the fall, obviously. So the army worms are transitioning from their summer stage where they pupate and lay eggs and go through their life cycle within just a couple weeks versus their fall stage where they go through that life cycle you know, uh, they actually go dormant throughout the winter. So they're already transitioning into that. They're fattening up right now. And you can tell the fall army worms, they get much bigger than the summer army worms. If you've ever seen that or never noticed it, they get twice the size. They store all that fat so they can burrow into the ground and stay dormant for two, three, four months until spring comes around. The little bastards. They just to wake up and eat all my stuff again. But uh, there you guys go. Love you. Grow food and see how this nitrogen fixing corn does. It could be a, a really awesome crop for homesteading and small scale grain production. If you can actually have a corn that doesn't need to, you know, eat a chicken's coop worth of manure just to give you an ear of corn. We'll see.
love you guys grow that food and uh see you later let me know what you think nitrogen fixing corn Let's see how it does as usual it's gotten a nice hefty dose of neglect from me so <laughs> my poor sweet potatoes i uh, i've been harvesting sweet potatoes other than putting these in so it's not a complete loss there are still probably tons of sweet potatoes in this bed but uh, all the ones i found when i was weeding and going through i kept and uh just leave them here they're not going to hurt anything sweet potatoes grow no matter where you put them here in florida though they don't necessarily produce roots but the vines are rampant that just give them some nice cover on the ground i suppose right can't hurt some good uh, organic material added